I was very stressed before I came here and it might not have been from cancer but I'm sure cancer didn't help it and after Friday night I just let loose and after the the healing touches and the, the foot fairies on Friday night I just I slept well and then on Saturday I lost all the stress and today I, I feel great so I now know how to live in my own body and how to hopefully manage my stress when I get home. I was thinking about all of our journeys and um, as a three-time cancer survivor, it was really nice to be here with other cancer survivors and be on a journey that isn't chemotherapy or radiation or in a hospital, but um, connecting with women that have been on the same journey at a spiritual and emotional and physical level. Well, the medical community doesn't deal with how you eat. They might tell you how to eat, but they don't model it and they don't feed you and they don't nourish you and they don't teach you movement. And um, we had everything this weekend. We had wonderful food. They taught us how to cook it. We had emotional nourishment and um, you know, love, the unconditional love. We were taught how to receive, you know, and women give so much that we don't take time to do that. And we were made to receive, you know, from the foot fairies to the massages, to the Nia, to the yoga, to um, just communing with nature. And that was really special. I would wish it for every woman as part of their treatment plan. I am a couple of years out from the end of my treatments, although I continue on drug therapy for years. And one of the things Christine walked us through was how you felt when you were diagnosed and how did you do then and then how are you through radiation. So basically going through all the steps that most of us have been through and then talking about how did you feel as your life changed when you went back to your regular life. And for me, these were a lot of things that I just put on the shelf. I put up a wall and I got through it and I went back to life and have not let that part of me heal. And I think in many ways, being among other women who have also been through this um, and facing it again has helped my mental health and will help it in the future. If you don't address something that's really a deep wound, it's never really going to heal. And I think this environment, having these wonderful, wonderful women uh, which we shared that bond, and by the bonfire, we, we realized we shared a lot of other things. Uh, it really was a lovely, lovely weekend of healing and community. Shortly after I finished treatment, my husband was diagnosed with cancer, so I went right from being in treatment and, and trying to take care of myself to having to take care of somebody else. And there was never any time to process how I felt about things, and there was no one available to be there for me. Coming here, um, I, I found people who were like, what can we do for you? It's like, no, I'm sorry. We, I didn't think it was gonna be like that. I thought I'd sit in the back and listen. And there were all these people who were there and people who were offering to listen to me and validate my story and, and just sort of be with me. And that's a gift that I don't give myself, that that time is a gift I don't give myself very often. So this was the perfect opportunity and I'm profoundly grateful for the little touches, the, the stupendous food, the, I learned about dinosaur kale and, uh, and it's good, oddly enough, and, <laughs> which I wasn't expecting, and, and a lovely massage and, and Somebody gave me a foot massage and somebody rubbed this and taught me to do something and take care of myself. And it was so nice and it's something that I'm grateful for. And it's, you know, we, we, get, we get processed and we get sent out into the world with, you're gonna be fine, girl. And I wasn't fine for whatever reason and I needed this. So um, yesterday, 
floating on the float with the bluegills nibbling on my toes. I was having a lovely time. And I think, I think it brought me a special place. You know, it's gonna hold a special place in my heart forever. Kind of reminded me to be, when I go home today, to be more present in my kids' lives. And I get very caught up in the day-to-day -day routine, you know, get up, work, come home, eat dinner, go to bed. So you kind of, you kind of forget about the important things when you're in that habit of just everyday life. So I'm gonna spend less time on Facebook. <laughs> it gives you lots of tools to help get through the, the troubled times. Tools of connecting to the earth you learn, tools of breathing, tools of touch. Um, things that will take me a long way, I think, for, for anybody, not even cancer survivors, but for everybody in everyday life. It was just really peaceful, and that's what this weekend has been about. Not only were we learning through presentations and experiences that we had, but just the calmness of the environment and the peacefulness that surrounded us as well. There's not a day that goes by that you can't forget that you have cancer. You mm -hmm. don't ever get to put it behind you. And it's always there. And the risk of it coming back is always there. And so to get away with women who knows what that feels and how heavy it is on your heart um, is just a real gift because we are just normal. It, the cancer doesn't have to make us different, but it's a part of who we are. When I first got the flyer, I thought, you know, this would be, it would be a great couple days away, get away from the hustle and bustle of family life and work. I don't think I really need all of the uh, insightful education. I'm doing fine. Um, what I found out was, <laughs> is I thought my heart had healed. Maybe my breasts have been removed and the cancer may be gone, but my heart wasn't healed. And this weekend took me a long way towards that. In my whole life, my almost 70 years, I have, and I've always been around people who loved me. I've had a very privileged life in that way. I have never been pampered in the way that I've been pampered and loved. It wasn't only the physical physical pampering that I received, although that was incredible. I came in a lot of pain and I am leaving free of pain. So physically I have been healed, emotionally I have been healed, and my spirit has just developed to great, great places.